In this video, we're diving into one of the most mind-blowing transformations on Earth. We'll explore how China turned an unforgiving desert into a seafood wonderland. Stick around because this story will leave you in awe. And hey, if you love learning about fascinating stories like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. When you think of deserts, what comes to mind? Blazing sun, endless sand, and a place where water and life seem like distant dreams. Now, imagine seafood in that exact setting. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not for China. They've taken barren, lifeless land and turned it into a thriving hub of shrimp, abalone, and lobster farming. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's as real as it gets. Let's break down how this incredible transformation happened and why it's such a game-changer. Spoiler alert! It's not just about seafood, it's about innovation, survival, and a vision for the future. The Great Desert Glow-Up To understand how we got here, let's rewind a few decades. China faced a monumental challenge. With a population of nearly 1.4 billion people and only about 9% of the world's arable land, feeding everyone was no small task. The odds weren't in their favor, and they knew they needed a bold solution. Deserts in China, particularly areas like the Kabuki Desert, were seen as wastelands, vast stretches of sand with little to no value. But where others saw desolation, China saw potential. The question wasn't why, it was why not. In the early 1990s, China was already tackling some of its biggest environmental issues. Desertification, when fertile land turns into desert, often due to human activity, was becoming an alarming crisis. One of the most affected regions was the northern part of the country, including the Kabuki Desert. This vast stretch of arid land had been creeping toward other more fertile areas, threatening both the environment and the people living nearby. To combat this, China launched a massive project aimed at greening the desert. The goal? To stop desertification and make the land usable again. Phase 1. The Green Barrier In the 1990s, China set the stage for a huge environmental project. They started by planting millions of trees in an effort to stop the desert from spreading further. But these weren't just any trees. These were carefully chosen species designed to thrive in the harsh desert conditions. The initiative was a giant effort called the Great Green Wall, which aimed to create a natural barrier to prevent the wind from blowing sand into other areas. This project was no small feat. It was ambitious, requiring massive effort from both the government and local communities. Over time, the trees helped stabilize the soil, and with less sand being blown around, the land began to change. Once the soil was protected and stabilized, the next step was to figure out how to use the land efficiently. This was where the real magic happened. The birth of desert aquaculture. Fast forward to today, and the answer to the question of what to do with desert land is clear. After successfully stabilizing the soil and making the land more hospitable, scientists and engineers turned their attention to aquaculture, the farming of fish and shellfish. But here's the twist, instead of fresh water, the focus was on using saline water found deep beneath the desert's surface. This briny water, which could never be used for traditional crops, turned out to be perfect for certain seafood species. In the past, this salty water was seen as useless, an unyielding resource in an already harsh environment. But China's engineers and scientists developed an innovative method to purify and use this salty water to create ideal conditions for seafood farming. What was once an obstacle became a valuable asset. They began using underground reservoirs of salty water, which is abundant in deserts like Kabuki, to grow aquatic life, including shrimp, abalone, and lobster. But you might be asking, how do they make this work? The process involves a method called saline alkali aquaculture. Simply put, it uses the naturally salty groundwater to create controlled, stable environments for aquatic life. This means that seafood can thrive in what would otherwise be considered an inhospitable region. Why seafood? Why, you ask, seafood instead of crops? There are a few key reasons. First, seafood farming requires much less fresh water than traditional agriculture, which is crucial in desert environments where water is scarce. Fresh water is used in very controlled quantities, and, in some cases, alternative solutions like rainwater or desalinated water are incorporated into the farms. Second, seafood farming is far more space efficient compared to traditional agriculture. A hectare of desert aquaculture can yield several tons of shrimp annually, which is a far more efficient use of the available land. 
In a place where every drop of water and every inch of land counts, aquaculture presented itself as the perfect solution. And it's not just shrimp. Abalone, which are highly prized and difficult to farm, have also found a home in the salty waters of the desert. The farming of these creatures has created a sustainable and high-value industry that supports local economies and provides a nutritious food source. Building an Ecosystem This transformation isn't just about farming seafood, it's about creating an entire ecosystem. In the process, China has not only turned barren land into a thriving hub for seafood production, but they've also brought life back to the region in other ways. Villages that were once on the brink of abandonment are now revitalized. New infrastructure has been built to support the growing aquaculture industry. Things like roads, schools, and healthcare facilities have sprouted up around these desert farms. Moreover, the impact on the environment has been overwhelmingly positive. As aquaculture farms have taken hold, they help retain moisture in the soil, creating areas that are conducive to plant growth. These small pockets of life are slowly turning the barren desert into something much more sustainable. The ripple effect has been felt across the region. With seafood farming thriving, local economies have received a boost, and people who once struggled to survive in the harsh desert conditions now have jobs and access to vital resources. These deserts, which were once considered wastelands, have become places of opportunity and hope. A vision for the future China's successful desert aquaculture model isn't just impressive in its own right. It has the potential to be a game-changer on a global scale. As the world faces increasing challenges related to climate change, water scarcity, and food security, the concept of transforming deserts into productive land could become a critical part of the solution. Imagine this model applied to other parts of the world. Deserts in Africa, the Middle East, or even regions of North America could be transformed into productive hubs for food production. Just as China has pioneered this new way of thinking, the world could see vast deserts in previously inhospitable areas become centers of innovation and sustenance. However, it's not without its challenges. Desert aquaculture requires significant investment, advanced technology, and highly skilled labor to run these farms successfully. Moreover, there's a delicate balance to strike between economic gain and environmental sustainability. This balance will be key in ensuring that these projects can be replicated without causing long-term harm to fragile ecosystems. But the potential is there. With the right technologies, resources, and planning, the idea of turning deserts into productive food hubs could transform the global food landscape in profound ways. So, what does this mean for the world beyond China's borders? The transformation of the Kabuki Desert into a seafood wonderland is more than just a success story for China. It's a global wake-up call. In an era when climate change and population growth are putting unprecedented pressure on our natural resources, innovations like this offer a glimpse of hope. China has shown that with determination, creativity, and the right technology, nothing is impossible. By thinking outside the box and refusing to accept limitations, they have turned what was once considered uninhabitable desert land into a productive and sustainable ecosystem. This story serves as a reminder that the world's problems don't have to be solved in traditional ways. Sometimes, the solution lies in finding new paths, innovating, and seeing potential where others see only challenges. So, what can we take away from this incredible story? First, it's a testament to the power of innovation. When faced with seemingly insurmountable problems, people can find creative solutions that not only solve those problems but also create new opportunities. Second, it shows us that the world's deserts might just hold the key to feeding future generations. With the right technologies and a forward-thinking approach, even the most barren landscapes can be transformed into fertile ground for growth and sustainability. And finally, it's a powerful reminder that the biggest challenges often hide the greatest opportunities. If this story inspired you as much as it inspired us, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing stories that show the limitless potential of human ingenuity. See you in the next video.